You're about to put your house up for sale and you need a stager for your living room, but you're on a tight budget. It's Take a Tip Tuesday, five tips to stage your living room on a budget. Hi, my name is Christina Smallhorn, your real estate whisperer, providing you the best real estate tips with a dash of humor. Be sure to subscribe now and hit that notification bell so you don't miss my most important but humorous real estate tips. This week we're gonna be going into the living room. It's probably the first place that people see when they walk through the door, so it's probably your most important to get it staged correctly. I know that a lot of people, when they put their house up for sale, they're on a budget because they're trying to buy the next house and they have to moving fees and boxes and all that other stuff. So this is a way of staging your home with things that you already have laying around the house. Now let's break this down. What a mess. All right, I'm gonna give you a good tour of my living room. Right now, if you look behind me, you'll see that there's pillows everywhere, there's afghans laying around, there's all sorts of stuff that kids throw over the couch. But we're gonna go ahead and organize this in a way. Everybody knows how to fluff up a couch, but I'm gonna show you how um, I would fluff up and organize the pillows so they look more inviting. Also, we're gonna um, decorate a chair. I know you're thinking like decorate a chair, but I'm gonna show you a way of doing a thing called a vignette and it's just just a way of like basically making a space look more inviting for people to want to sit down or just imagine themselves in that space. And we're gonna straighten this all up because it looks awful. <laughs> My daughter Sydney's gonna help me out because most of the stuff belongs to her. As much as she loves her custom pillow, there is no way that we're gonna be putting this on the uh, couch while it's, this is for staging. So you don't put this out for staging. This is, this is, pers this is personal for you, but not personal for a buyer. So okay. that's why we're doing okay. that. <laughs> all right, now that we got all the pillows fluffed and I didn't find anything, any critters in the cushions, we can go ahead and start putting these pillows back. I think that if you have a really plain couch like myself, you wanna add a pop of color. With it being fall, I add like an orangey red. Um, if it was like more in the springtime, I would add more of like a sagey green. But um, just some, something to add a little bit more color and depth to your um, couch. Oh, here's a good tip. Before your people come over, open all the blinds. Nothing says like more welcoming than lots of bright light coming through. So make sure that all the blinds are open before your new buyers come through the house. And the Lord said, let there be light. And there was. So when you're staging your house and you're staging the living room and you have pets and we have dogs, um, you want to remove anything that has to relate to your animal. I know you love them and I love my dogs too, but when you have your house for sale, many buyers don't necessarily appreciate pets. So anything that relates to your pet when it comes to like dog bedding or toys that belong to dogs, anything like that, make sure you remove it. I've given some tips about dogs and dog smell. If you have your dogs on furniture and you have a dog smell, you, you can go ahead and click this video right here and it will take you to a video that tells you how to remove the smell of dogs from your furniture. It really does work and it's super easy and you can do it right from home. Okay, so I consider this living room to have a main focal point, which is the fireplace. It has this beautiful brick and it really does showcase the living room really well. The problem that I'm having with it, of course, is that my house is for sale and it's cluttered with a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna clean that all off. If I was actually putting my house up for sale, I would remove the TV that's hanging from the mantle. Although it doesn't bother some buyers, it just looks so much nicer and cleaner not to have a TV hanging from that beautiful fireplace. I would put a really nice picture up there instead of that humongous television. My husband would kill me if I did this for the video. In many of my past staging videos, I said declutter and depersonalize. This is a perfect example of what we're gonna be doing today on these shelves. So first is the declutter, which is there's way too much stuff on here. And the depersonalized is as beautiful as these trophies are, and I've earned many of them, these just don't need to be on shelves. I know that you're excited that you've earned these things, but the people that are wanting to buy your house, they could care less, and they really just need to go away. So take them down. So it's kind of my intention that my daughter when they have been dusting the house, they didn't realize that you need to actually dust the items on the shelves. I think that goes without saying, but apparently not everybody knows that. So when you're putting things on the shelf, make sure that you dust these items as well. <laughs> well, this looks a lot better. If I had gone out to the store, I would have actually bought a lot, much more stuff or different things to add to this, but we're doing this on a budget. So I'm just using the stuff that I have in my house. 
Another tip I wanted to give you is that if your cabinets are dark like mine and they're not wired for lighting, you can you can hire an electrician, but if you want to go on a budget, you can get these lights at Home Depot and they have different um you know, different brightness to them and they stick with this little magnet thing on the back. So you can just put that up there and put a little light in there so that way it gives the space a little bit more color and brightness and light and bright is what buyers like. And why do things like this have to go away? Well, we want the fireplace to be featured, not all of our stuff. So I know it just seems like we're just getting rid of everything that you love and cherish, but it really does make it better to show your property a little bit better in a buyer's eyes. So we wanna focus on the things that actually remain with the house, not the things that need to be removed. So if your buyers are coming over soon and the weather allows for it, nothing's more inviting to a buyer than to see a nice warm fireplace. Just make sure you're not too far away that you can keep an eye on it and get it turned off pretty quickly um, after they leave or you know, you just don't wanna leave a fireplace unattended. But it does look great for buyers. So if you have the ability and you wanna do it, go ahead and put on your fireplace. Well, here's a useful tip you probably haven't heard. I have these wood, engineered wood floors that are glued down and I had been mopping them with a regular mop and like Mr. Clean um, solution, just a little drop, I didn't do a lot. And over time they got, they lost their shine because apparently that leaves a buildup on these types of floors. If you find that you have had this happen, I found the trick to get off that, uh, that cloudy film. So all you do is just put in like a couple tablespoons of uh, white vinegar and then uh, hot water and then you just wipe it off. It takes a couple times, but it's worth it because you want your floors to shine for your buyer. So I'm just gonna hand wipe these floors really quick. So one nice thing you can do when you have your house listed for sale is kind of stage pieces of furniture. And some people call this like a vignette. So you just basically make it look like someone has just been sitting there or they could just sit down. So I'm gonna like give you a little example. Just put out a nice blanket, nice and warm, and possibly a little pillow. And then we're gonna put this book right here. So it looks like someone was just sitting here having, enjoying the fireplace and reading their book. So your husband says, absolutely not. You're not taking down my television. So how do you offset from this gargantuan eyesore? Well, one of the tricks that I've always tell my clients to do is to go on YouTube and find something that's ambient or ambient sounds. This one was called Fall Scenery and it has a very calming uh, piano playing in the background and it switches to different fall scenes. So even if you don't even have a fireplace, this is a good thing to throw on a television set. And I have them do that if they have a big, large television on their wall in their bedrooms as, as well. So they're free to use on YouTube. You can just have them constantly running and looping. Some of them have like 24 hour live streams. So that's just another way to stage your living room. I'll put a link in the description to this one. It's really good. All right, just to highlight some things that you learned from this video. First is cleanliness is next to godliness. That lighting your house really does make a big difference when in a buyer's mind. Make sure that you have decluttered and depersonalized any kind of shelving and basically take out as much as you can and still make the space look open and clean. If you wanna have a nice ambiance, you can go ahead and set up a fire. If you have one of those monstrosities of a television up there and you can't take it down, go ahead and put some kind of nice scenery in there. And you can all do this with just stuff you have around your house. You don't have to go out and buy anything special to stage your house yourself. Just make sure it looks clean and inviting. Also, one last thing to remember is that it's good to go ahead and stage a piece of furniture so it looks like something that would be inviting for them to come and sit down. If you'd like some more tips and tricks about buying and selling your home, you can always visit my blog at yourrealestatewhisperer.com. If you'd like to know more about buying homes specifically here in Ascension Parish, you can download a free copy of my ebook. The link will be in the description. My name is Christina Smallhorn, your real estate whisperer for Ascension Parish, and I tell you all this because you matter. If you'd like to watch more videos about staging your home, go ahead and click the playlist over here. If you'd like to know more about selling your home, go ahead and click the playlist over here. To visit my website, click here. And to like, share, and subscribe, click here. And don't forget to hit that notification bell.